This tree is a red alder. Scientific name is Alnus rubra. It's a deciduous tree. Got a leaf here. Looking at the leaves, they have an ovate to elliptical shape. If you look closely at the margin of the leaf, you see that it has large teeth, and over those large teeth are smaller teeth, and so it's doubly serrate. If you flip the leaf over and look closely at the margin on the underside, it'll almost look like it's outlined in a darker green because the very edge of the leaf is rolled under. It's revolute. It's a great way to tell it apart from white alder. Uh, white alder leaves, uh, the margin is not revolute. Alder leaves are held in an alternate arrangement. It's hard to see at this time of year, but they have stalked buds. So each of the buds along the, along the branch has a short little stem. They're not sessile. Looking at uh, the fruit, so this little pine cone structure um, holds the fruit for red alder. Let me put it down on the ground. It'll be easier to see. So it looks like a little tiny uh, woody pine cone, but it's actually what developed from the female inflorescence or catkin. Um, the catkin developed into this woody structure and then the fruit of the red alder is a tiny little samara that's released from between the what look like scales on this little cone. The, um, the woody cone-like structure here stays on the tree um, right through the winter so it can be a really useful characteristic for identifying alders in the winter time. Another good characteristic for alder is the bark. Uh, which tends to be smooth rather than furrowed and then blotched with lichen. Sometimes it gets completely covered with lichen and then it looks almost like a, a has white bark, but the bark is actually a grayish green. But the lichen grows so well on it that uh, tends to get blotchy.